Hey there, fellow outriders, and welcome to your biggest challenge yet. Today we're going to take a closer look at our new and much anticipated World Slayer Endgame. A vast and pretty damn scary place called the Trial of Taria Kratar. Quick disclaimer, next to the overall structure, we'll be checking in on some of the new gear available with World Slayer. And we'll also take a look at one of the new enemy types that are only to be found in Taria Kratar. Other than that, we'll keep it spoiler free of course. We're also mostly soloing for the purpose of the spotlight. Please keep in mind, as with so many things in life, there are even more fun when you team up with friends and experience it together. Enough chit chat, end game, let's get it. First things first, you might ask yourself, what the heck is Taria Kratar and why are we here in the first place? Sadly, we can't give you the full background and history of this place just yet. Cause that's something for you to explore, as it is very much linked to the World Slayer story campaign. It's safe to say though, without revealing too much, that this place is deeply rooted in the legacy of Planet Enoch's mysterious natives, the Pax. Where's their father's power? This madness. I gotta find out what the hell it was. Let's start with an overview of Tarya Gratar itself. The trial takes place in a new, huge and fully explorable area, including changing weather, day and nighttime scenarios. It will confront you with different combat encounters and in some cases, exclusive enemies. You'll need to stand victorious after every encounter in order to delve deeper into the heart of Tarya Kratar. But make no mistake, your enemies are relentless and will even grow in difficulty tiers over the course of your venture. Every run starts at your base camp, conveniently set at the entrance to the trial area. Here you will find all needed amenities for your outrider lifestyle. Vendors, crafting, fast travel, customize your character's look, access your stash, find a party and even access to all 18 previous expeditions. You'll be returned to your camp if you manage to complete a full trial run, but also if you abandon an attempt or simply die too often. In any of those three cases, Tarya Kratar's rewards will reset and be freshly obtainable. While exploring the dungeon, you will additionally encounter crossroads, boss arenas and troves. Crossroads may give you the opportunity to explore areas off the primary path and most of the time they will lead you to troves. Boss arenas are mandatory to progress deeper into Tarya Kratar. We are currently here. Our first crossroads is giving us the option to explore Trove right from the get-go. I will talk about the specifics of Troves a bit later. Let's go and wreak some havoc first. By the way, there's no time element to the trial. You can complete them at your own pace and nobody will scream chop chop at you while you stop, smell the roses and just take in the nice view from time to time. and Pyromancer build. We're currently rocking a Sunfall submachine gun, the Hellborn bolt action rifle and the Boulder Lynx pistols. We're also doing this run with the Pyromancer's new Heatseeker legendary armor set, which will work nicely with our equipped Pyro skills Thermal Bomb, Overheat and Ash Blast. It has a wicked set bonus that will activate once you successfully manage to detonate an opponent with your Thermal Bomb skill. After the first explosion, Thermal Bomb will then automatically travel to the opponent with the lowest health and chains up to three more times after the initial blast. The Heatseeker set also comes with four insanely powerful mods in support of our overheat ability and helps to deal some serious damage. We specialized the Tempest branch in the Pyromancer skill tree for this run. 
Our Pax Class 3 specialization in the pyromaniac branch will really help to turn up the heat. As just mentioned, Heatseeker will enable our thermal bomb to travel three more times after the first impact. Those fireworks come with 50% reduced damage. Let's counter that a little. Check out Trigger Sequence. It will give explosive skills like thermal bomb 25% more damage and it stacks up to three times. Boom! That's a great example of the importance and fun to always be on the lookout for exciting synergies between weapons, mods and skills. Finally, we're currently on essential level 41. We've used our available points to achieve a good spread of increase in our four available main categories. Anomaly power, endurance, brutality and prowess. However, World Slayer will also rework some existing gear, including the Plague Sour and Torturer sets, to ensure that your existing favorite gear remains viable. Also, keep an eye out for our new Sunfall Submachine Gun Special Mod. Firestorm. It summons a violent and homing firestorm to deal damage and inflict an extra crispy burn on enemies. The radius of the firestorm will also increase with each successful shot on the afflicted target. That was fun! We'll swap to the Hellbone Bolt action for the next encounter though. It will give you the Violent Rupture mod, creating a volcanic eruption on impact. Now, all those Pyromancer players might notice that this is actually one of the Pyro's most brutal abilities. So, with Thermal Bomb, Overheat and Ash Blast already on our skill bar, we essentially added a fourth one on demand. Nice! Now is a great time to introduce you to one of the trial's exclusive enemies, the Shadow Beasts. Blink and you'll miss them. But rest assured, they won't miss you. These overwhelmingly effective predators join the roster of monstrous adversaries that you'll be facing. Shadow Beasts are the assassins of Taya Gratar and usually appear in small packs. Their sensitivity to the anomaly gives them the ability to cloak themselves, even while in motion. You may only be able to track them if they disturb the environment they pass through or by using an area of effect skill to unmask them. Shadow Beasts use their superior stalking capabilities to get close enough to be able to attack you with their special abilities. With the most debilitating of these, they will be able to inflict silence upon you. The silence debuff locks the player's skills from being triggered for a set duration. During this time, you will need to rely on your weapons only to fend off enemies. Pretty nasty. I'd be also on the lookout for Beast Lords, experienced feral hunters who manage to tame these invisible killers and use them as tracker. We now have the option of progressing to the first boss arena or taking some time to investigate the trove accessed from these crossroads. Mm, let's keep that boss waiting a little longer. As we mentioned earlier on, Trolls are optional areas that you can explore as you progress through Taria Grata. They're dangerous enough to potentially cut short a dungeon run, but their rewards are well worth it. Let's remind ourselves of why we're all really here. Sweet, sweet, badass loot. And Trolls offer something new to the Outriders universe. Targeted, apocalypse gear, loot, farming. Each trove will individually offer a particular slot of gear. For example, one trove will focus on helmets, while another will offer only chest armor pieces. Completing a full run of the Trial of Taya Gratar will reward you with tons of new and amazing items. But these trove areas give you an added opportunity to target and farm for a specific Apocalypse variant gear to complete your set. Given you make it out alive from one of the trove areas, 
you'll be returned to your last crossroad and can continue your journey. Each location will challenge you in different ways. Some of them will surprise you with complete new enemy types since your last visit. While others throw brand new boss mechanics at you. Again, trolls are always a high risk affair. But high risk always comes with high rewards, Outriders World Slayer. So just to state the obvious, the trial of Tarya Kratar is repeatable at any point and designed with high replayability in mind. Guess we kept our first boss waiting long enough. And I'll leave you now with a few glimpses of what's to come. We hope you will have hours and hours of amazing fun in Tarya Kratar. Take care and goodbye lovely people.